Being able to assist a goal in football is one of the most fun things in the sport. There are some players that even take more pleasure with setting up a good assist than scoring goals. So in this video, we're going to be going over how you can start getting more assists and really start doing things that are going to allow you to not only have more opportunities to do this, but just rack up the stats and numbers in this area as well. That's coming up next. Welcome to Simply Soccer. My name is Dave. If you are new to the channel where I am releasing videos every single week to help you improve your game and stand out on the pitch. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you get my free ebook, Game Changer, which I will link down below in the description. This is not just your run of the mill free ebook. This is 50 plus pages uh, just packed with value, drills, techniques, mentalities, and other things that are going to help take your game to the next level. So get that down below for free. Now, without further ado, let's get into the very first one starting in reverse order with number five so number five we have to start with one of the simple ones but ones we have one we have to go over and that is how is your passing technique because look you're not going to be able to set up teammates if your passing technique is poor one little bonus i'll throw in for you is how is your delivery into the box if you look at players like kevin de bruyne you look at players like trent alexander arnold you look at players who get a lot of assists a lot of times it'll be from amazing delivery into the box through crossing now of course they get assists in other ways for more long balls from little slide rule passes but you want to make sure your technique is really good and a little again bonus thing I will throw you is really learn how to deliver a dangerous ball into the box because it's gonna help you get a lot more assists now I made a video recently going over four different types of passing techniques that will help you unlock the defense I will link that down below if you want to check that out after this video but again we can't go on and do anything else and think about more of nuanced things if your passing technique is poor because if it is you're just not gonna get many assists in fact in fact, in the comments put my passing technique is improving with every training session and we'll move on to the next one now number four is getting into the right positions because you need to be receiving the ball in positions that are advantageous for you to set up your teammates for example you might as a midfielder need to find pockets of space between the opposition's defense and their midfield as a winger you might need to make runs to the byline have someone play you through so that you can square it for an easy tap in you need to make sure you're finding the right positions for some of those more easy assists. For example, if I'm a midfield player, I want to be roaming around that defensive and kind of midfield line looking for that pocket of space so I can quickly receive the ball, possibly turn, have my striker make a run, and then just slip him in. And these are the kinds of situations and scenarios you want to be looking for. It's going to vary per position, but you need to think, what positions can I put myself in or what runs can I make that are going to make it easier for me to set up my teammates? If you're enjoying this video so far or it has helped you in some way so far, make sure you hit that like button and we'll move on to number three. Now number three is important because we always have to mention that and it's using your IQ. Even the best assisters in the game don't always try that killer ball. Don't always go for that ball that will lead to the goal. You have to use your IQ. If you're always going for the killer ball, you're going to lose the ball more times than not and the opposition is going to be able to read what you're doing. You want to know when it's time to go for it and take that chance and when it's time to just play it simple or do something else. Maybe it's time to dribble. Maybe it's time to shoot yourself. Maybe it's time to turn back around and pass the ball off. Maybe it's time to play the ball back where it came from first time because you're in a bit of a tight space and there's no real adva uh, advantage to taking it on from there. You need to recognize when it's time to go for that ball and when it's time to really bide your time, when it's time to be a little more patient. If you're always trying to go for that killer ball, it's not going to work out so much. Now, when that moment does arise, you want to take it but you need to learn which moments to take it and which moments to not we'll get into that in a second and number two is instincts just like goal scoring and just like a lot of different things in football you want to be operating mainly on instincts now you hone your instincts on the training pitch when you're working on your game you're working on different passing techniques to the point where it's muscle memory that will allow you to be able to do the right thing you know and execute it well instinctively in matches but you want to listen to your instincts. 
You know, I can tell you for some assists I've had, sometimes I'll get the ball spin quickly and just know to play it in a certain area because my brain's already picked up on everything that's going on and my instincts will then take over. And then it's just about have I practiced enough to be able to execute what my instincts want me to do. This is the same for long balls because you have to understand with an assist, you have to be a lot of times inch perfect with a lot of them. You have to time them correctly. If you play the ball too early, your teammate might not be there in time. If you play it too late, it probably goes behind him. So you need to follow your instincts. If you're too ponderous, if that chance presents itself and you're overthinking, you're not going to be able to execute when you need to. And so you need to follow your instincts. If your instincts are telling you to do a certain thing, chances are it's the right move and it's going to be very beneficial. And then it's just about making sure you have the technique like we went over in the first one to be able to execute. But don't fight your instincts. A lot of times your instincts will just tell you to play it back or to play simple, but sometimes it'll tell you to go for that, that longer ball over the top to your striker. Sometimes it'll tell you to play that first time pass into the path of your winger. Sometimes it'll tell you to take that player even one-on-one -on -one and then cross it in versus crossing it in early or vice versa. Sometimes it'll tell you that. But the more you listen to your instincts, in my eyes, the better you're going to play, the more chances you will create and set up, and the more assists, among other things, you will get. The last one I want to mention um, is important, and it isn't always talked about, but make sure you're in sync with your teammates. And this means not only just kind of knowing where you're going to be without communicating with each other, but when you're training, when you're in practice, if you're, for example, a center midfield player that sets up the striker a lot or sets up the wingers, have conversations with each other to learn your preferences. You know, if your winger says, oh, every time the ball is here, when you have it, I'm making that run in the open space. Or your striker goes, yeah, this is the run I'm trying to make behind the defense every single time. So if you turn and, and you play that ball quickly, I'll be there. And also talk to your players who will be feeding you the ball, you know, communicate and tell each other what it is you like to do and then have that in sync type of connection when you're on the pitch. This is only gonna help you. This is what's gonna prevent, if you've ever seen plays where a player passes it into space kind of blindly and the other player, you know, could have been there but was completely somewhere else, that's what sometimes is happening. You're not in sync, right? So learn each other's preferences, talk to each other, communicate with each other. If you're a midfield player, I would highly be recommending that you communicate with your striker a lot. In training, you learn what he likes to do, what his movement is, same with your wingers. And, and everyone on the pitch, because then you'll learn what it is they like to do and what is going to be the pass you can play or what you can do to create for them if you're trying to go for an assist, that is. So be in sync with your teammates. It is going to help you play the right ball, you know, actually have that person available and know where they are more often. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you're struggling to assist in football, this is gonna help you, and I'll see you in the next video.